This is my fire piston that I got off eBay. Let me give you a quick rundown on the fire piston. This is a hollow cylinder that has been closed at the one end. Also, as you can see, the cylinder has been overlaid with decorative wood. The decorative wood serves two purposes. Number one, it makes it look really good. And number two, it makes it easy to grasp the cylinder as you drive the piston down into it. It won't slip out of your hand. The piston itself has a handle on the one end. The handle is used to drive the piston into the cylinder and to yank it out really quick. On the end of the piston, there is a rubber bushing. The rubber bushing helps to form an airtight seal when placed into the cylinder. Also on the very tip of the, si the piston is a little notch. This notch is where your tender will go. Now, what happens when you place the tender in the very tip of the piston and you place your piston into your cylinder you slam it in and pull it out really quick the compressed air will cause the temperature right to rise to about 500 degrees Fahrenheit and therefore that's enough to ignite the tender that's been placed into the very tip of your piston now let me show you how it's done this is called Eureka Black Bear igniting material I do not know what this material is, but it works really well for a fire piston. I'm going to tear just a little piece off, probably smaller even than a pea. And I'm going to place this into the notch of the piston. Like so. I also have a piece of char cloth and a sharp tip pocket knife. Now, let's see if we can get this going. I place the piston into the cylinder and I'm going to slam it. Just slam it in there. Drive it in there really fast and pull it out really fast. As you can see, the tender smolder. Now what we want to do is get this out and transfer the tender into our char cloth. You can see it smoke. Once the char cloth is ignited, we can place that into our tender bundle, our tender bundle. We can blow that into a flame. That's how you make fire with a fire piston.